Hey, hey, Tony Gaston's here. I'm headed home. Got me a haircut. So y'all forgive me if I'm looking dry face because put that alcohol all on me, you know. But headed to the house and uh, I'm going to talk to you about something because this here, this and I want to do its own video. I done mentioned this in another video, but I want y'all ladies to really be careful. And we, we got a lot of, we have a lot of women today that is the Jezebel spirit. We have a lot of Jezebel spirits. We got a lot of Delilah spirits that's raising up. See, if you a good woman, you're going to attract a good man. It's gonna be some fleas that approach you. It's gonna be some no good men that approach you. But if you are a good woman, you're gonna be able to pick up that this is a no good man. And you're gonna have the strength to cut him off because you're a good woman. But you have to be careful that you are not affected by the bad women. So there are women, and I was just talking to my barber about this, and we were talking about how there's this movement of where women don't want to listen to their man. Like, don't want to hear what they man got to say. Don't want to hear what they man feel. Don't want to hear <clears throat> about they man you know likes and dislikes his preferences and we went back to talking about the kiki palmer situation and he said the same thing he said now as a husband i would never let my wife go out the house with that on and so here's the thing i know what he's saying i would never let my wife go out the house with that on now today there's a group of women who will take that and try to twist that and try to play semantics <clears throat> play semantics of what you mean let what you mean let that's a grown woman she could do whatever she want to do she ain't got to listen to you if you got a problem with it you immature you insecure and it's like no for one, let don't mean I'm going to strong armor and him up. No, let, let mean I'm going to tell her, hey, that right there is not appropriate. Especially you not with me. Now, if the only way I'm going to allow that is I'm right there beside you, but you not with me, it's a lot of crazy people out here, and that's going to send the wrong message. And I'm guarantee you, it's going to be a man who think that it's his right to come up and grab your booty because you got on see-through clothes. He's going to assume that you're wearing see-through clothes because you want attention. Because it's going to turn heads. You're going to have people staring. You're going to have people looking at you. So he's going to think you want attention so bad that means he could touch you. Now, there's a group of women who will twist that. That's victim blaming. Don't blame the victim for a imbecile's actions, for a pervert's actions. It's not about blaming the victim. It's about recognizing that this is a reality and there are men like this. But see, the thing about it, what we forget be, is we forget that there are women who walk up to a man and grab his penis. We forget that. We forget that there are women, if a man got on gray sweatpants and he got a print showing, we forget that there are women who will walk up to that man and grab his thing. In the club, outside, at the, at the day party, at the community, you know, barbecue, so you got to realize if women who are seen as less sexual 
than men, less forward than men, then what you think a man gonna do? And it's like, if you've ever been a woman who you had a club face and you was in the club, you might have most likely got your booty growled at some point in the club. If that never happened to you as a woman, you you very fortunate. But most women in the club done got their booty growled. And the reason why we as men know this is because most of us done did it. I done growled women booty in the club. Yes, violated their space, that got me a handful. But I'm standing with other guys, so when she turn around, she don't know who to slap because I'm, I'm looking somewhere else. So yeah, I'm telling you the truth. So nah, but the reason being is, you see this short old, real short skirt. You see this very revealing outfit. So as a man, you say, oh, she don't care nothing about her body. And that's the immaturity, that's the perversion that us men know that men operate with so when we speak up to our woman it's out of protection it ain't out of jealousy now some men is gonna be out of jealousy or whatever insecurity but as a protector it's out of protection because if your woman if you attracted to your woman then you know other men gonna be attracted to her and if your woman is fully clothed it's going to be more valuable, respectable men approach her than if she half naked. So the half naked argument to not have her half naked outside is more so protection than anything else. Because, you know, ain't nobody coming up to her but jerks and sleaze balls and dogs. But if she dressed classy and cute classy and sexy now she got doctors approaching her lawyers approaching her pastors approaching her she got men who they got a good job they they in the right position so if y'all arguing y'all fussing and fighting you going through spiritual warfare you more likely to lose her to an affair when she dress good regular than when she half naked but there's coming this thing today of where women are rebelling against men because of patriarchy and misogyny and chauvinism so it's so many women that are taking this blanket approach of let's rebel against all men like let's if a man got something to say he got an opinion or you telling me what to do? Or you talking to me like a child? Or you this, or you that? And it's really just all being put in your head of let me be independent to a fault. And it looked like it's simple. Like, it, it seems subtle. But you gotta check that. Like, it's, I seen a TikTok or a reel the other day where the lady say, hey babe, can you take the trash out? And he said, yeah, give me a minute. And he's on his phone doing something. Look like he's sending an email or something. And he said, yeah, give me a minute. And then the thing say, two seconds later, she dropping what she doing and coming back and grabbing the trash all aggressive, taking it, taking it out. She doing that to be funny, but this stuff be based on real life. That's what she do in real life. That's what she feel. Basically saying... I asked you to do something. You didn't jump. You ain't do it immediately when I asked you to do it. Bump you, I'ma do it. Now see, that's the thing. That's the spirit right there that we not even paying attention to. And it's the very spirit that women are fighting against. So this the very spirit that this, this movement that's moving against women is they basically saying, so now when you flip that, 
flip that and put that in today's time. If a man, if there's a reel of a man saying, hey babe, can you cook dinner? And she say, yeah, give me a minute. And then it say 60 seconds later. And it show him grabbing pans and slamming pans down. And now he cooking. The narrative would be, ha 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 ha, not funny. What is she a slave? What she got to jump? So because she didn't do what you said do in 60 seconds, um, she's worthless. She's no good. When, when the woman show that when she tell her man to do something, he don't do it. She got to go do it. If he ain't did it in 60 seconds, in a minute, when he say, give me a minute, they'll show 61 seconds. Then they'll show her doing it. So if a woman show that, and it's funny, it's all funny jokes. But today, this group of women that's trying to lead, lead this rebellious movement for Satan of tearing apart men and women and taking them from being on one accord, this group of women that's doing this, they'll have an issue if the same depiction was made. If the same depiction was made of a man getting mad because a woman didn't do something in one minute when she said, give me a minute, oh, it'll be up in arms. And so this is what we got to realize. These subtle little things, Think I want you to think about something. When you see something like that subtle, it actually takes root. It takes root and it, it's a, it become a stronghold. It take root and it become a stronghold. And you come to a place to where you like, you know what? I did ask him to do something, then he ain't do it right away. And 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 we'll get frustrated. And I noticed that. I noticed that with couples. We got a couples class today. And I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna talk about this on the couples class too. Because this is very real, and this is how the adversary slips in there. He's slipping there real subtle, just real sneakily <clears throat> slip right on in there. Boop, boop. And so listen, you got to understand. <clears throat> I want the women to understand. There is nothing wrong. There is nothing wrong with submitting to a good man. Meaning, there is nothing wrong with trusting this man to lead your household. With trusting this man who has surrendered to God and loving the Lord and trusting the Lord and leaning on the Lord for wisdom to, to trust him to call a shot. To trust him to say, hey, this is what I feel we should do. To trust him because that's the way God ordained it. The, it, I, the instruction for me to love my wife the way Christ loved the church that was life that was life altering that changed my life like that that hit me so hard I'm like whoa this so real man it's real and I thought about the love of Christ the sacrifice of Christ you know just the heart the service the giving the humility I'm like man but 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 think about this now <laughs> Wives, submit unto your husbands as unto the Lord. <laughs> so listen, a good man is going to evaluate that scripture of loving his wife as Christ loved the church. And he's going to draw the comparison. He's going he gonna to draw the parallel. And he's going to say like, whoa, ho, ho, ho. man, Christ love like this. Now, nah, this Christ was loving like this. What? You want me to love the woman like that? I thought I thought Christ was just the one and only now. Nah. That's your only begotten son. Now, nah. why are you asking me to love the way he loved if that was your one and only begotten son now? Nah. <clears throat> so a good man going to analyze that and talk with the Lord and just really like, whoa. And then he's going to set out to try to love his wife like Christ loved the church. Now, we all fall short of that. We're going to fall short. But guess what? 
a wife should also submit unto your husband as unto the Lord. So, so now you can't have submitting unto your husband as unto the Lord be a curse word if you won't love your wife as Christ loved the church to be a mandate. And see, this is the movement that the devil has going amongst women and women with sense and women with a good man is buying into this secular devilish rebellious movement of disrespecting their man disrespecting their man belittling their man demeaning their man and undermining their man in the name of feminism or whatever title they calling it <clears throat> and it might not even be feminism but some of them gonna tuck it under feminism as a blanket or a little scapegoat <clears throat> now i gotta end this video because i'm getting close to home i need to call my wife see if she need me to pick up anything for her. but um hey god bless y'all now and, and listen it's a lot of women on my channel so the same way that y'all want to hear me checking men and giving away the game about men and holding men accountable by exposing the games and the things that men that men do, you got to have that same energy when it's exposing the things that, the, that women are doing. You got to have that same energy. You can't be up in arms and all mad and butt hurt when, it, when it's exposing something that's happening, if it ain't you, if it don't fit, you must have quit. If it don't apply, let it fly. If the shoe don't fit, then okay, keep stepping. But a hit dog holler, like grandma say. So if you up in arms and you, and you can't realize that this is a real thing and this is going on and you can't acknowledge that, then that means you part of the problem. That mean because it's you. That mean you done bit the apple like Eve did. I mean, you done bit the apple and you is the one that's undermining and disrespecting men because of the pain or the hurt that you didn't experience at the hands of a grown boy. And here's the thing. I'm going to tell you as a man and as a good man, we want to have peace in our house. So sometimes for the sake of comfort to the family, we'll disobey God and we'll be bad stewards of what God has given us because to be a good steward requires discipline and it requires sacrifice. So sometimes that means, hey, we can't eat out right now, but to have to cook and do dishes Oh, it's too uncomfortable. It's too, oh, I don't feel like cooking. Or, oh, I don't feel like doing the dishes. And no, I don't want you to cook because I don't want to look bad. Because you shouldn't have to cook. Because you, you is the provider. So you shouldn't have to cook. And I don't want that to look like you providing and you cooking. But I don't feel like doing the dishes either. <laughs> well, no, I don't want you to cook and do the dishes because you providing. And then you cooking and you doing the dishes. So, uh, so being a good steward means calling some shots. So not being able to call them shots, you squandering what God then gave you. And then when you squander what God then gave you, then at the same time, your woman still going to look at you to make everything happen. Hey, our daughter need this. Hey, my mama need this or my sister need this or I need this. And it's like, well, listen, when I tried to put a budget in place, you got an attitude, you got distant, you got quiet. So then that cut off the intimacy, that cut off the sex because it was something you didn't want to hear. And so this is the spirit that's moving to where you got to remember that scripture and say, and really think about this thing. And women have to come to the place to where if you got a good man in your life, you got to come to the place to where you able to say, hmm, okay, I'm going to do that. And I'm, I'm going to listen to you. We're going we gonna to listen to you. We All right, that's what you feel. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going I'm, I'm to listen to you. 
because I know you're a good man. You're a faithful man. You're an honest man. You're a God-fearing man. All right. I'm going to trust that God is giving you the wisdom and the vision. Now, see, that's one thing that I love about my wife that I don't like about myself is with myself, I'm real lax. I'm real chill. I, I really like comfort and convenience, too. So I, I really like to eat out. I really don't like to cook at home and all that. But one thing that I really love about my wife is if it comes to a time where I got to call a shot, even if she don't like it, even if she don't like it, she's still going to be like, okay, all right. She's not going to argue and go back and forth. She's like, okay, all right. And it's going to do it. And so what I have to learn is just to be able to hear, hear the vision, speak the vision, you know, call it, call the shot, you know, say, hey, this is what, this what I feel like we should do in this season, but do it cool, calm, and collected versus letting things go, letting things go, letting things go, everything blow up, and then doing it out of anger. And so that's what we have to learn as men. And that also can be expressed by a woman. So it ain't about rebelling. You could say, hey, well, this, you know, you have to communicate like this. Or you should communicate, you know, you can't yell and scream. Or you can't, like, be disrespectful with the shots you call it. Like, it's still, we still a team. Like, I still am a person. I, st I have a heart. I have a mind. And that has to be honored and respected as well. And so you got every right as a woman to express yourself, to articulate yourself and speak up. And that's not rebelling. That's communicating. But hey, this is Tony Gaskins. God bless you. Y'all stay tuned. Make sure you get over to TonyGaskinsAcademy.com. So the, the calls that we have that's private, that's off of YouTube, you'll be invited to it if you already have taken a course. God bless you and we'll talk soon.